you should be comfortable keyword okay this ui you should be comfortable okay so this is the database name schema name it's called as fully qualified now suppose right? i want to see click on this value so see add a column so it will you all the columns okay so okay one more time if i want to suppose like select them start from suppose like i want to get this table so we can able to get this table okay so place name okay okay this thing okay so instead of star suppose like i want to get all semicolon it's not working awesome. okay so okay now see now suppose like if i instead of star i want to get all the columns can we write all the columns or no see you can able to place add columns in editor editor like this way you can able to get so in a similar fashion now i want to see, see see same thing now tell me how to get this definition table definition i want to get how can i get the table definition uh, definition i uh, yes, tell me select hmm, tell me definition Select get underscore DDL bracket open bracket close. We should mention table and table name. We should be what is table name? So this is the table. We can get the definition like this. So create our play. Same thing, click on this three value. We can able to get the view definition. We can able to get okay. Or else, like one more time, see, we can able to load the data. We can able to load the data from local machine. Get the point, sir. So this thing we'll see later in Snowflake. We'll see this data loading part okay. So first, you should be comfortable with this. Here. Create multiple databases like development, testing, UAT. Start doing testing. Okay, so like then we will be comfortable. Okay, so I need to navigate. Okay, so click on this thing. Set worksheet context. Okay, so we can able to do that context like this. We can able to do. Okay, so I want to list of tables. Go for show tables. Okay, so create as many databases, as many schemas, and as many tables. Try to copy it some better so that what you should be comfortable with this UI. We can able to make a name. Okay, see. So this is day three like day four we can able to make it. so okay so you should understand what's the cloud what is the thing you should not get like this okay. so okay see okay. okay now see the same thing now what happened now see we can able to select databases, schemas like this. We should be comfortable with this UAT. That's what create a development testing UAT prod. And we need to work accordingly. So that what you should be comfortable in real time. We can able to get this. Suppose I want to get. So click on this value. So see. So click on this table. So see. Set. Okay. Place names will get fully qualified name. We can able to query like this. Okay. Suppose like if I don't want, if I want all the columns. So click on this value. We can able to. Okay, play play that. Suppose like if we don't want column, we can able to remove the column like this. Okay, so create databases, create schemas, and this we can able to Okay. Now I'll give one task. Okay. Now tell me before that Snowflake is mainly for it's a data. What data? Migration project. Okay. So what exactly it will do? Tell me migration project in a sense like what? In one. Hmm. What exactly will do? Migration. We are migrating data from different source system to one a target system. So one, what's the target here? That is Snowflake. Uh, Snowflake. 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 So what are the sources? Different sources? Any, any sources. Any sources? Oracle. Oracle. Post, Postgres. Postgres. Okay, so Postgres. Okay. Our Teradata. Okay, our SQL Server. Okay. So we are moving from, okay, right now, Redshift also, they're trying to move Redshift. Okay, or it can be SAP HANA. So green plum. Then what happened? SAP HANA green plum. Then what happened? Net is there. there are so many things are there. Okay. So so ultimately, what they want to move this data to cloud. Now, cloud is like it's a snowflake. Why they want to move? Main reason is that what? So main reason is that you can say so performance, cast cutting. Okay, then what happened? Then so huge volumes. Okay, so huge volumes. This databases cannot able to handle. Then ease of use. We can able to use. Okay, because no need to install. No need to do any setup. Okay, we can able to easily scale up and scale down, increase the size, decrease the size. You can able to do all. That. Okay. So these are like because of all these features. So companies are moving from on premises to Snowflake also. Okay. So once you know, we'll work for data migration. Only. Tell me what are the objects we can able to migrate generally. What objects we can able to migrate? Anyone? So we'll migrate. I tell me. 
So this is fine. You're saying like data migration process. Now, what are the objects we can able to migrate? Tables. Okay, so, so tables, then uh, only tables, huh? Procedure. So views, then procedures. Okay, see so procedures. Okay, so procedures and use. Okay, functions. Okay, see, we mostly we migrate tables, use procedures, functions like this. We can able to migrate. Okay, so it will be like phases. Okay, so phase one, it will be tables. Okay, so phase two, it will be like views. Okay, then phase three, it will like procedures and functions. Okay, these things we should be clear. Okay, so what things we are migrating. Okay, see, first we should migrate tables, then we should go for views, then we should go for process and function because in process they'll have multiple tables. So without table migration, how can that's why? So first we'll migrate tables, then views, then processors and functions. All these things. Get the point, sir? So first it says Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse mainly for analytical solution. Okay. We are maintaining the historical data for data processing, data storage, and data for future analysis or for business intelligence or for data scientists or machine learning or for AA. So we want to preserve this data for future prediction. Okay. So suppose like I want to predict for 2024 or 2025 sales how much expression. Okay. Like this, we need to project and we should start the production of cars like showrooms like this. You can do that. Okay. So Snowflake is a SaaS. No need to install any software or any hardware. And this is mainly for data migration projects. See, so this image. So we are moving this data from on-premises or cloud, okay, see, into Snowflake. So with the help of this, so as a Snowflake developer, we should create, so this is important, as a Snowflake developer, we should create multiple data pipelines and push the data from different sources and put into Snowflake. Okay, then what happened? After putting Snowflake, now we should do the transformations. How can the transformations tell me? With the help of what? With the help of SQL, okay, upgrade functions, analytical functions, joins, these things we should perform. Ultimately, what? On the top, we should create views and we should give this to Power BI Cream. They'll try to create the dashboards. Okay, this is the day to day. See, bringing the data from different sources and put it. Now tell me, now tell me, can it one in one month, two months? No, because we are having 500 plus 500 to 1000 tables to there. And so 1000 tables and views like 100 views. Okay, 50 processes, like depends on the product will be there. And in a similar fashion, what this will be like, tell me it will be like, okay, mil, uh, megabytes or gigabytes of volume, it will be like terabytes of volumes will be there. because of huge volumes, it's like one to two years, two to three years. Okay, so because we should develop, we should test and we should deploy. So it will take minimum one to two, three years, like day. okay, so after this, we should do the support kind of activities. Okay, that's why one project will last for two to three years. Like this, there are so many projects and then like the cloud. So it will be so many, so many, like, because now we need to do enhancement. So we should do like client is asking businesses, like I want to get multiple dash. That's why. So these are important. Getting the point a little bit at least. Yes or no? So this, okay. Ultimately what? We should migrate. So suppose like, this is my data in Oracle database. So this, suppose like, Ajme, this is my table. This table, I want to migrate as Snowflake. How can you migrate? First, we should get one table and should do the migration. Okay. I will give one task and try to do this is the thing. Now, this is data migration. Okay, see from Oracle database, we are trying to migrate into Snowflake. Now, before that, tell me what is sprint, sprint plan, sprint, anyone in there, sprint, sprint any day. So, how many weeks of sprint will be there? Mostly two to three weeks. Mostly two to three weeks or two to four weeks. Okay, see, like, okay, so what sprint is number? So, big project, we are trying to divide into small, small models and we need to work accordingly. Okay, so, so now what happened in this speed? What happened? Daily will have the scrum master, scrum call there. All the team members will be there. They try to do the thing. So, sprint planning will be there. Now, what happened? So, this, so what I said, so tickets will be assigned, Jira tickets. Okay, these tickets we need to assign and we need to work accordingly. Get to the point, sir. This this thing I want to migrate. So this table I want to migrate into Snowflake. Okay, see. Now for this purpose, what tell me? How the data will be stored in Snowflake? Mm -hmm. How the data will be stored? Mm -hmm. In the format of tables. Tables. Okay, see. First, we should create one table in the Snowflake. So based on this format, now try to insert manual for first under understanding. So this table. So these things. Okay. Now I'll send this thing. So see. Now, how to do this thing? Change the column name as the request. How can you change? How can you change this thing? Alter to alter. Okay. Same thing. So alter. Same thing. Okay. So go back here. 
now change the table name as per so now i want to change the table name how can you change the table name same which command alter command alter command rename no. rename won't work in snowflake it is there in our right no no we should follow naming standards what is naming standards tell me so see suppose like i am creating employee table can i put department table no okay so and what happened we should put underscore t so what is a table what is underscore v it's a view view what is mv metrology metrology sq it's a sequence so emp eros it's a prop okay so when now right now we should make so Stands like table, it's a view, it's a metrics, it's a second. Let us say that's what coding standards, naming standards, and alignment. What is alignment? What is alignment? Just to see what happened. Okay, see. Okay, see, see the same thing. Okay, suppose like when I put like this. Tell me is it good looking? Huh? No, always we should follow alignment. Okay, so we should follow this is called as coding alignment. Okay, if you work for MNC, you know these things all this will capture all this. Okay, see bracket open bracket. This is the coding alignment. Okay, see. Do unit testing so capture results okay like this we can put okay. so do now ultimately what so we should okay see in real time now what happened this code we should put with proper name okay I'll just go back here okay so this is what table this is covin registration okay so go for structured query language okay so this is the same thing so ddl okay like this okay see what happened we should store like this okay, see this is so where is our value Okay, see, COVID vaccination registration table, DDL script, DML script like this, we should store this data into like this, this thing. Okay, like then, then we should put where? We should put in the GitHub or repository. Okay, slowly understand. Okay, see, if you do the task, this task, almost like SQL statements will be completed. Get the point, sir? Yes, sir, no? like this. Okay, see, understand the concept like this, we can implement. Okay, so do this task. It's a simple and easy thing, okay? Yes, sir, I get the point, sir. Try to solve these things if you're comfortable with these things so that SQL concepts will be covered automatically. Yes, sir, no, I'm getting that. So, you should put efforts, okay, without effort, it will not fall through and all these things, okay. So, like I said, data migration, okay. I am migrating one tables from Oracle database into Snow, like we say, data migration, okay. In the phase one, what we try to migrate? Tables. Next to phase two, views. Phase three, procedures, functions, we try to migrate all these things. Yes, getting a little bit at least. Okay, see tomorrow remaining.